Okay, this will be the start of my little series on repair and conversion of one of these vans. That one into a small camper. They're quite a, a nice little van. They kind of got different bits of different vehicles on them, very similar to a Scudo. Um, this one's a Fiat Euro seat. That one's a Peugeot 806, as you can see. Other kind of same thing, but for a side view, the same vans. Um, seat wise, it was your two seats up front, or you can get a three seat front for the van version, so pause the bolt straight in. We've got three middle seats, we've got three back seats, making these an eight, not a seven seater. Slidey door, great for kids, they can't smash anything with it. And a slidey door at that side, windows at the back, and a small. You don't get much boot space, but as you can see, yeah, this is normal, and you get kicked up. But as you can see, you can get a tub of stuff in the back, so you can get four or five bags of shopping in there, as well as all your kids. And the selling point when that one comes to be sold. But I'm not doing that one. That one's a petrol. This one here. This one's a diesel. And that's going to be better for conversion to a little camper. So it's been owned by somebody who had a, an extra tin or two of silver paint. And as such, they've been at it with silver paint here, there, and everywhere. Silver. It's got some trim missing. I'll just have to do that with stickers. You can't get trim. Trim's hard to find, but same setup. A door on either side, slidey door. Rear doors, big boot, same seats. This has got some of its seats missing. So I won't be needing them for a camper. The engine's a bit duff, the brakes are duff, I'm just on with that at the moment, as you could have seen. Two steel wheels, painted silver, two alloy wheels. So I worked well to find a set of spare steel wheels. A um, bit more luxury in this one than the other one. This one came with a full set of windows for uh, the driving passenger door and the sliding door, the electric mirrors with a folding button and also there are a couple of extra switches that's on the back of this one. There's mortars buried in here so these open need you to as well. They're quite well set out as hands when you've got the Speakers in the back, there's a charging point in the back. Um, central locking on all the doors, and said these door windows are electric. Big enough to take a 47 inch television that needs to go to the dump. And all the bits and pieces. So, this is what's going to get repaired and converted. In the next video is going to be the brakes, the new brake pipes at the back. Okay, here we are underneath. Starting to look at his dodgy brake pipes, because that's what the MOT man said wanted sorted. And these ones, these ones aren't so bad, they're quite in good condition, these. They're not so bad, the flexes are alright, but I'm going to put new ones on. Um, because they're so cheap, there's just no point not changing them. You might as well go to do a job, get it done. So, most of the other pipe work is in good condition as it needs to be but these pipes at uh, this area here that got a bit rusty it seems to be a bit of a rust trap as you can see from the floor so I've chopped this one off that's that one chopped and then these are the two feed pipes from the front I've chopped these and um, tried to blank these off but 
the issue you've got with these pipes is that these ones aren't copper, these are steel and they are a complete bitch to work with. Um, if ever you come across these, budget for doing the whole thing from front to back because it will be easier. If you want to save time and you don't mind spending double the cost of pipe because you'll need two rolls instead of one, do them front to back. So I have managed to flare one of them and put this on to keep it from dripping overnight. Um, that one I just shoved the rubber cap on the end. I've got this one to flare again. The trouble is they're so hard to flare, they just push through the tool and damage the tool. I've been told when flaring it, wrap some sandpaper around it and it'll get a better grip and I should be able to flare the end. So I'm gonna try that next. Um, over here on this side, um, this one's been fixed before with this. I mean, I can't believe just how soft this pipe is. It's, it's crap. Yeah, it's some of the worst is coming back. I've seen it must have been really cheap. But that's coming out. So, new flexi pipe up here. This one again doesn't seem so bad. It's been scuffed here by a spanner, but. Nothing that can't be expected. I've spent the past couple of days working on my WD-40, hoping that they're going to come off easier, and they don't. So that was a bit of a waste of time. But if necessary, I'll just bring the grinder out and I'll just cut the old thing off. Um, that might be a faster way of doing it as a city with grinder. We'll have to see. That's where the um, compensator valve should be mounted on this plate here and then this pipe should go into it that pipe should go into it and these are the two feed pipes that should go into it so that will get connected back up very shortly once I get these flexes changed I think I'm going to do those first I'll swap them out but I've just felt that water based stuff falls out of the sky. Um, not happy about that because my feet stick out and get wet. So <laughs> I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to have a brew and uh, find the grinder so that I'm prepared. And hopefully it'll be a bit sunnier tomorrow. I'll crack on with this. I've been online on to eBay because it's cheaper for me to order stuff off eBay from Euro car parts than it is to go down to the shop and buy it most of the time and that's in cruelty free delivery so to shoot myself in the foot they might want to keep stores open or maybe they don't want to keep stores open I don't know it's just it's sometimes cheaper to and the what price match you go down to the shop you walk up to the counter and you say have you got this in stock and yeah and they come out and it's $6.99 and you go, well it's $4.99 on eBay with free delivery from you and they say, well, tough, we're not price matching and I think that's just absolutely stupid because you'd think branch managers would want sales you know, even if it means price matching their own online store you'd think they'd want the sales to show that their store needs to be open otherwise they're going to be out of a job and if they're stupid enough to be out of a job, good on your Euro car parts, your employing staff, that, you know, sort of that, what can I say? So, I've ordered some spray on under seal so I can give that a bit of a brush off and get it done because there's water somehow. I don't know how it gets up there, you know, all this is here and it's not as though you're in reverse. Um, you've got this tank. So, but well, there, must, there must be kind of a vacuum, some air, air flow must suck the water up and that's where it hits and gets the bottom so under seal is ordered, should be uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after um, but that's it for today, I might have bored you stupid enough already but if you're interested in how I get on with this, keep watching, there'll be more videos popping up as time goes by. Um, 
but this is the first big job I've got to do because this was the MLT failure point so I'll get this done then it's an oil change and then it's off for another MOT to see if there's anything that the first MOT guys missed because I didn't do the first MOT that was the previous owner so we'll see how it goes ok here's a part of the van this is what's called the compensator or brake valve compensator or various other names but most vehicles have them when they're a bit of a van shape quite a few cars the older variety you have your, you have this right, you have your brake feeds coming in for each side and then two feeds going out and the idea is, is that in the brake of the yard and the back of the van starts to lift up in the air. The suspension pulls down on this spring which pulls down on this pivoting arm which operates the valve in here that cuts off the brake supply to the back wheels allowing them to spin again and the back of the van should sit back right down and not skid. So it's a, a very kind of primitive anti-skidding system. And what had happened to this is this metal bracket here had a piece that came up here over that pivot and it had rusted and snapped. So you can't buy the arms, you've got to buy the whole valve. It's some about £100. I think I've seen them at 80 I've seen them at 120 so taking that as an average. So I've got some zinc steel, I've bonded it to the original um, bracket from there and doubled it there and so now instead of having plain mild steel it's got some thin zinc steel plate which goes all the way around and back over the pivot at this side and that now operates quite nicely and stays on there and since that zinc steel it's probably going to outlive um, the rest of the bracket but if I get another year or so out of it and it starts to, to go again then it'll get replaced but this is a, a cheap way of getting it sorted for now um, because I don't want to spend a lot of money on this vehicle if there's undiscovered faults with it I don't want to be spending £100 on that to have to scrap it to only get £100 back on the scrap it I'm just losing money so that's going back on with its, its repair. Um, considering how often that's going to get used, <laughs> it's going to outlive the rest of the vehicle. But um, we need new brake pipes on it. So here we are, brake pipe. And so you need to cut your old brake pipes with one of these cutting tools, which you just tighten down and twist. And eventually, off comes your old bit of pipe and you're left with a new end. And the problem with being left with a new end is when you come to put one of these on, it's just going to slide on and off. You need to actually flare the ends of it over like the end of the original pipe would have been, which would have been kind of like that but not getting one kind of like that and so you now need a tool to do the same with this here so you now need a flaring tool we're doing as if by magic a flaring tool appears now this is a three part flaring tool we've got this bit here which does the actual compressing and flaring this bar here which holds your pipe and then this bit here which is what forms the flare on the end of the pipe so you start with your, your nipple on your pipe and then you have to attach this one handed while filming it with the camera and watching it through the camera which means nothing seems to move as it should oh, get on there Too much pipe showing here. You don't want too much. If you have too much, it's going to go all bendy and kinked, and it's not going to be as you want it. 
what I have noticed with these tools is that they have a small protrusion on them and if you can kind of match that to the height of that it kind of matches up and how much height you need from it out. So you just take two hands to tighten this up. It does need to be tight. That's the one very tight. What happens if it's not very tight is that pipe will just slide through this tool and it also damages the tool because as it slides through it pulls the threading off on the inside. So on to there, we'll go over one of them. Okay, the other part of the tool, it goes up this way and then sits on top of there. You can then start to tighten this down. Placing that against my knee, as we tighten this, it bends the copper pipe, so it's all the way down and tight, and then it's back and up, back it off, take the tool away, and do this. Is he a one-handed Olympics or something? I can enter because I think by now. We have this Olympic sport of one-handed car repair. I bet most of those people that make these videos on YouTube would well, be a dab hand at it. We would. Let me just bend my pipe straight because I kinked it when I took it off. And now as you see as I pull that off on the end here of this pipe. And that now will sit up against this. So you could not bend the damn pipe. And some strange way. Uh, just need two hands, so yeah. Maybe I shouldn't. Oh, hang on. I think I can do it with one hand if I get a pair of them. Ah, you see, I'm still with a chance of these alone for this. There we are. <laughs> that goes up all the way to the end. So now you can go, you can now kind of see what I'm going to be doing, except it's going to be much more cursing. It's going to be a much harder job to do. Um, there's going to be much more cursing. But we'll see you again.